Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be looking at data migration. Okay, so how to migrate a database from one SQL server to another using the Microsoft Data Migration tool. Now I have two instances here, which is my DR and I have my prod also, which has been connected in my server management studio. Now you can see my prod has AdventureWorks database. If I go to security, let's look at the logins. So I have these logins created, which is Babs, Kofi, and I have Shell also. I have the cluster admin. So I'm going to migrate all of them together with the database to my DR server. Okay, so if I expand the database here, you can see I have no database here. And then let's look at the logins. I don't have the other login names over here, right? Babs, Kofi, and Chew, I don't have them here. So I'm going to migrate all of them. Now to start, I'm going to migrate for my prod. So I'll go to my prod and then I'll launch my Microsoft Data Migration too. If you don't have it, you can download it on the Microsoft website. It is free and easy to install. Okay, once it opens, you just need to click this plus sign. And the first thing you need to do is to perform an assessment so you can know the compatibility between both servers. That's the source and target server. So I have my assessment type database engine. And then if you drop, if you click this drop down, you can see you have integration service. So we'll leave it as database engine source server type. Our source server is SQL Server and our target type is also SQL Server. So if you are migrating to Azure, you can select the appropriate. Now we click on Create. Now once we have it, we need to select our target version. Okay, so our target server is running on SQL Server 2019 on Windows. So you can select the appropriate version. So I'll select it and then click on next. Let's wait for it to open. Now, once it opens, we need to connect to a server. So connect to a server and select source. So we have to select our source server name. So if I click on this drop down, I have my server name here. That's the source server, which is the prod. So I'll select, mm -hmm. if you don't know where to find, if you don't have the name over there, you can go to your Management Studio, this is the name of your server. Or you can right-click it, go to Properties, and then you can copy it up here. That's the server, and you can double-click and copy it, okay? So now, let's continue with, uh, we have authentication type, which will leave it on Windows authentication. You can select other authentication types, and then connection properties, encrypt connection, Trust Server Certificate. Once everything looks good, we'll leave it as Trust Server Certificate for now. But it is advisable to always encrypt connection. So we click on Connect. Now, it has connected and located only one database, which is AdventureWorks. So I'll select it, add it. Now, once it is added, I'll just click on Start Assessment. So here, this will tell us if there is any compatibility issue between the servers so we can rectify before we proceed with our migration. This will take few minutes or seconds to load. So let's wait for it. Our assessment is complete and you can see there are no compatibility issues with your database. So everything looks good. So if there is any compatibility issue, you see it here, and then you will rectify it. Now let's go to, so you can export your report and then just for future reference. Now, I don't need that for this. So I'll click on this new, and then I'll select migration as the project type. I'll name my project ADW Adventure Works 2019. And then my source server type is SQL Server. Target server type is also SQL Server. I'll select it and then click on Create. 
now once it opens we need to select our that specify source and target so source server details so server name click on this drop down and select my prod for the source and then my targets i'll select dr okay so authentication type i'll leave it like that and then trust server certificate i'll click on next now here it says shared location accessible by source and target service for backup operation so what you will need to do here is to specify the file part of a shared folder or location where both service that's the prod and the dr have access to so to do that i'll go to my domain controller i've already created a folder on my domain controller which is called on my drive c which is called the file shared doc and i've already shared it so it is a shared file which both servers have access to so i'll go to sharing you can see it so i'll copy the file part once it is copied i'll go to my prod and then i'll paste it over there so paste it now you can see specify the location to restore data files on your target server so this is my file location for the data and then also the log file this is where they will be stored so you can see backup for that permission so service account running source sql server instance must have written privileges on the network location service account running target sql server instance must have read privileges on the network so you have to make sure the service account that is running this operation have all these permissions now everything looks good we click on next now select login so i told you we'll be migrating the logins also so i have the logins over here selected so i have bob scofi show i want to migrate all of them now everything looks good so what i'll do is to start my migration now you can see the dashboard here you have five objects server object five i'm migrating five items i have in process so you can see the in progress tab and then you can see how many will be successful if there's any warnings if there's any failure so you can see our migration is complete and we have five successful so one database and four logins okay now you can see our source server here the name target server now let's go to our source our target server to see if our database has been migrated successfully so this is our dr remember we don't have any database here so now after the migration let's refresh our databases now you can see we have adventure works that's been migrated now let's refresh our logins you can see our login we have babs kofi and shell so that's how that's the simplest way of dealing with data migration using the microsoft data migration tool if you found this video helpful don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel and i'll see you in the next one thank you very much